Hey, good morning, world. How y'all doing out there today? Uh, I'm Marcus L. Lewis, and I'm coming back to you to share with you my life journey, my rag the riches story. And I just want to encourage someone, just to inspire someone and to motivate someone, wherein if the Lord has blessed me to, to come from nothing, as uh, it was once uh, stated, um, sort of getting it out of the mud, um, certainly the Lord can do it for you. Um, growing up from nothing in, in Louisiana, um, poverty stricken, you know, sometimes didn't even know where your next meal was coming from. But with consistent faith and believing, uh, things happen for us, for me, my wife. And so I want to continue to share uh, my life journey. And so in the midst of me sharing, I also want to encourage you to dream big. Dream big, because if you're not going to dream big, I suggest that you not dream at all. Because uh, you have to imagine yourself already having, being, doing, or becoming the very thing that you desire to have. And one of the ways, or perhaps one key component, and being successful in life as you dream and visualize and imagine the life that you're desiring to have for, you, have for yourself. You have to be consistent in whatever it is that you are pursuing. So be consistent in your pursuit. There was a movie that came out several years ago. Um, um, Chris Gardner, he was played by the legendary actor, Will Smith, and the movie was simply entitled The Pursuit of Happiness. So whatever it is that you are pursuing in life, you have to be consistent at it. So Chris, you know, he was pursuing happiness, and I suspect he found it when he was able to get into that, um, uh, that investing in financing industry where everything turned around for him uh, in his life. So whatever it is that you are, are, are pursuing, be consistent in that pursuit. Because oftentimes when we're not consistent uh, in, in what we're pursuing, uh, it's easy to give up. A case in point. Uh, how many times have you have made New Year's resolutions or uh, perhaps know somebody who has? And one of the uh, prominent resolutions oftentimes that individuals make is to lose weight. And they may begin to go to the gym um, the second or third day in the beginning of the new year. But it stops there. And they go to the gym and wondering why they haven't lost any weight after the first or second day that they've gone to the gym. It don't work like that. You have to be consistent in your pursuit at whatever it is that uh, your goal may be in life. But I guarantee you, if you are consistent and going to the gym on a perpetual and continual basis, I guarantee you, after three or four months, and you, you've been uh, consistent uh, with a proper uh, diet, you will see some results. And once you see those results, you will be motivated to continue on that goal, toward that goal. And so um, that's one of the things that I've learned in my in my. Uh, in my life as I have been pursuing uh, a, a this success, if you will. And so um, I, I shared with you on, on yesterday how uh, in 2016, there was another setback um, in our life when it, as it relates to the, the flood that came. We had four houses to be directly impacted by the flood. And two of them, we were able to get up and running uh, in no time flat. And there were two others that were severely damaged, severely damaged. And so, um, but again, we stayed consistent, kept our mind focused on the end goal. And at this particular time, it was just simply to get all the houses back up and running. And uh, mind you, we had spent about, you know, $20,000 or so 
and, and um, renovated the two, uh, two of the properties out of the four that was affected by the flood in 2016. And so we had to make a, a decision. Uh, in um, 2018, uh, both of the homes that were severely damaged by the flood were still um, down, uh, still you know, boarded up, dilapidated, and um, just hadn't uh, taken the opportunity to renovate the properties. One of them, to be blatantly honest with you, was having the finances, the financial resources to uh, renovate both of those houses that were completely destroyed by, by, the, by the flood. And so in 2018, we made a decision to sell one of the properties as is, found this investor and uh, had cash money. And uh, he had uh, financial resources to, to buy the property. So I in turn uh, located, uh, got in contact with a lawyer down there. And he did all the necessary paperwork. The gentleman uh, who was interested in the property, he gave um, his down payment, his, his earned his money uh, to prove that he was um, truly interested in buying the property. So within about maybe 30 days or 45 days or so, once the title research and everything had come back, um, we closed on that particular deal. So uh, that was one less property that we had. So remember, uh, in a previous uh, video and episode we shared with you, uh, out of the 10, we had sold two in Houston, Texas. Um, at the turn of the uh, the crash in 2008 or nine, somewhere there is about, that left, up with, that left us with eight properties. We sell the one in 2018. Now that leaves us with seven, seven properties. But you know what? The Lord's still blessed in the midst of all that. In 2018, my wife, um, her dear uncle, who was like a a father figure uh, in her life. My wife' uh, dad died when she was uh, at a very young age, around about the age of five, somewhere that's about. Uh, that's my understanding. And so her uncle passed away, and he so graciously uh, willed, willed over to her his house, one he lived in for over 40 some odd years, and um, willed it over to her. So we ended up selling one of the houses in Louisiana, but acquiring another one here uh, in Virginia. By, by way of um, by way of a gift, and so uh, when uh, she acquired that property, uh, we went inside the house and totally renovated it, um, gutted it out, redid the kitchen, added another bathroom, and sort of modernized the house, if you will, putting uh, ceramic countertops, stainless steel uh, appliances. They had carpeted uh, the house was carpeted. So we end up ripping out the carpeted and unbeknownst to us, it was uh, original hardwood flooring underneath the carpet, jackpot. Ended up sending uh, the hardwood services down uh, to the bear, um, staining them, putting varnish on them. Wow, looked like brand new flooring. Took about nine to 10 months so in, uh, in the summer of 20, 19, um, August, to be blatantly honest with you, we were able to get a tenant who's still in the house today and uh, able to rent that house out um, and to have a consistent uh, income coming in. So even though we got rid of a property in Louisiana, we were able to, uh, by the grace of God, acquire this property and my wife, uncle, had willed it over to her and um, um, been able to have a phenomenal tenant in that property. So I, I shared that particular um, portion of my life to share this with you. Be consistent. Consistent is key to your success. So even though when it doesn't look like things are going to be working out for you, be consistent in pursuing your goals. Be consistent in pursuing your dreams. So even though uh, it may appear as though that the dreams are too big to pursue, or too, too big to materialize, 
No, no, no. Don't minimize your dream. Just stay consistent on the path that you're on toward your dream. And I guarantee you, in due time, it will happen. You may take some losses along the way, but stay consistent. There may be some bumps along the way, but stay consistent. You may even have some setbacks along the way, but stay consistent in your pursuit to success. So I want to encourage you on today. To don't give up on your dreams. Continue to dream big. If you're not going to dream big, don't dream at all. I encourage you to follow the, the page, um, like the video, share the video where someone else may be encouraged and who may be uh, at the brink of giving up and wondering, you know, what can I do to keep going? The word is consistency. Stay consistent on your pursuit to your success. God bless you until we meet again.